Welcome to the Rexploder instruction video. This video shows you how to use the Rexploder system. Other videos will go into more detail on other programming options. Your Rexploder kit is ready to use. The receivers have been paired to one of the remote controls. Let's start with one receiver and the paired remote control. It has a number on the back corresponding to the numbers on the receivers. Always use alkaline batteries. The better the brand, the more confident you can be. Insert the 9 volt battery into the back of the remote control. Slide open the back cover and match the negative and positive to the springs. Line up the springs carefully and then push the battery up and in. And slide back on the battery compartment. Turn on the remote control to check the battery is good and installed correctly. The red light will come on. If it blinks, check your battery. Now put the 9 volt battery into the Rex receiver unit. Open the battery cover and clip the negative to negative and positive to positive on the battery. Be careful not to pinch the wires when you reinsert the battery. The battery compartment is a very snug fit. Just fold under the wire and gently press the battery back into place. Do not pinch the wires when putting the battery in. The battery fits perfectly and then put back on the battery compartment. Turn your exploder on by flipping the switch. After 10 seconds, the program screen will go to sleep and this is to conserve battery power. To wake up the screen, press any of the yellow buttons. This is the antenna, which gives you increased range. The Q button on the side changes the channel on the Rex receiver. You can choose channel 1 to 12 to match the remote control. Press the button once to go up slowly, or hold the button down to change the channel quickly. Tune from channels 1 to 12. This is the pair button. We'll explain what this button does in another video. This is where the Rex wires insert. More on that later. These are the handles on the top to hang the exploder. The remote control has 12 separate channels or cues. You can explode up to 99 balloons on each channel. Press A and all exploding balloons will explode at once. Press sequential and all balloons will explode one second after another. So let's program the receivers here to channel 1. Turn on the Rex receiver and then tune to channel 1 and repeat. This way all balloons will explode when we press channel 1 on the remote control. Or you can press A to explode all or SEQ to explode them in one second intervals. Now let's add the Rex wires to the receivers. Remove the protective end from the wire. Separate the wires by pulling them apart. Place one wire in each of the two speaker connectors. It doesn't matter which wire goes in which connector. Once you place the second wire in the second speaker connector, a blue light will illuminate, confirming the circuit is complete. 
blue light equals Rex wire inserted correctly. This is the other end of the Rex wire. Remove the protective cover by separating the two halves. This tiny bit of tungsten wire is what explodes the balloons. Attach the Rex bloater receiver to your balloon. You simply pull up the neck of the balloon and stretch it through the opening. Cut a square of strong gaffer tape or cloth tape and stick directly onto the balloon with the wire touching the balloon. We're now ready to hang and explode the balloon. In our testing we used IKEA brand 9 volt alkaline batteries. They stayed up for 24 hours and still exploded the balloon. The Duracell and Energizer batteries will stay in standby even longer. So let's explode our balloon with the Rex Bloater. Wow! Colourful, bright, festive, so much fun! Now you can explode balloons for every event using your Rexploder system.